Rheology is the study of the flow behaviour of materials. So how thick or thin a liquid is, this is known as its viscosity. It could also be how spreadable your margarine is or how elastic a toffee or sweet is. The rheological properties, either texture or consistency of food, often determines the acceptability of a product and therefore it directly affects the quality and consumer acceptance. This could be related to the taste of a product or may even be a visual quality aspect like how a sauce pours from a bottle, like pouring your honey onto a yoghurt. You may also want to maintain texture and quality when reformulating products, either for nutritional reasons, converting to clean label or free from products, like how creamy a uh, low fat soup is compared to the full fat version. The consistency of a product may also change over shelf life and you may want to monitor and characterize this accurately. You may want to do this for samples from uh, new product development trials or simply want to compare your products to competitors. Also, you may be interested in the processing or pumping of a product or an ingredient. This can be more complicated than you anticipate as some materials become thicker when they are pumped faster, i.e. subjected to a high shear rate uh, and also some become thinner. This behaviour is known as shear thickening and shear thinning. It can also be observed at a smaller, more practical level. For example, when you try and pour ketchup out of a bottle, but you have to shake it first. This is shear thinning. Or you may have seen people running, running across the top of a pool of custard. This is uh, shear thickening. It's really important to measure your viscosity profile accurately. We've had examples of companies designing a whole factory around a simple viscosity measurement of a complicated viscoelastic ingredient and therefore their processes and pumps did not work as desired. The rheology of a product can be characterised in many different ways. For example, simple flow cups or Bostwick apparatus can be used. However, these only indicate viscosity and measure something like time, distance or mass. Viscosity can be measured using a simple viscometer, such as a Brookfield viscometer. However, these can have their limitations as well. Viscosity is highly dependent on factors such as temperature and shear rate. So how quickly it is mixed has a big effect on its viscosity. Here at Camden BRI, we do have this simple equipment. However, we have recently invested in a brand new rheometer. It's highly sensitive and precise and can measure a variety of different products with high accuracy.